Many Americans are moving from one state to another. According to United States Postal Service, USPS, in 2021, more than 36 million people gave change of address requests, and 17.3% of these requests were state to state. In 2021, California lost more than 249,239 people and became a second state that lost the most residents. The top states where Californians are moving to are Texas, Florida, and Washington, with 16%, 8%, and 6.8% of inbounds, respectively. The Golden State was once a popular destination for immigrants and in-state movers because of its diverse culture, pleasant weather, and astonishing beauty. But it is not the case anymore. This video will share some primary reasons why you shouldn't move to California in 2023. So, let's start our video. High Level of Unemployment Unemployment is a burning issue in the state right now, according to the National Conference of State Legislature, NCSL. In October 2022, the state recorded an unemployment rate of 4%, which shows an increase of 2.6% as compared to the previous month, which was 3.9%. With an unemployment of 7.5% more than the national average, the state has been ranked 13th spot in the list of states with the highest unemployment rate. The Imperial City dominates the list with an unemployment rate of 16.2%. With the increasing uncertainty in the U.S. economy, it is predicted that a recession might hit the country by the second quarter of 2023, which may cause a significant increase in these numbers. High Cost of Living Among 50 states, CNBC ranked California at 48th place in terms of the high cost of living, which means Hawaii and New York are the only two states more expensive than California. The state cost of living surpasses the national average by more than 50%. The average cost of living in the Golden State is $149.09, while in the U.S., it is $100. For a family of four, the average monthly cost of living in California is $10,016, which is $4,662, higher than the country average. Transportation is 33% more expensive than the national average, while groceries and utilities are 5% and 2% more expensive than the country average, respectively. Unaffordable rents Housing in California is way more expensive than in any other state. The median home cost in California is $684,800, 135% more than the national average of $291,700. The apartment rent varies with respect to the locality. On average, a one-bedroom apartment costs $1,568 per month, $520 more than the U.S. average. Office rents in California are also expensive. For a class of studio, the average rent is more than $1,374, 45% more than the national average, which can drastically increase business costs. Unfriendly for entrepreneurs California is quite popular among business personnel, as more than half of Fortune 500 companies are registered in the state. Moreover, among 50 states, CNBC ranked California in first place in its ease of access to the capital parameter. But on the other hand, CNBC ranked the state poorly in business friendliness and cost of doing business, as in both factors, the state has been ranked in 48th place. High taxes, high rents, and strict regulations are reasons the state is declared unfriendly for business entrepreneurs. Moreover, the state has the second-highest minimum wage rate of $15, which can be good for employees, but it also increases the cost of business exponentially. High tax rates Due to its legislative complexities and high taxes, the state has been ranked at 48th place in the 2023 State Business Tax Climate Index. It has been ranked at 49th spot in individual income tax rank, 46th in corporate tax rank, and 47th in sales tax rank. The state has some of the highest tax rates compared to other states. California is one of the five states that has adopted alternative minimum tax to make sure that taxpayers should pay a minimum amount each year. It has a top marginal income tax rate of 13.3%, which is the highest in the U.S. The state also has the highest state sales tax rate of 7.25%. High Crime Level The violent crime rate in the state has increased by 6%, with 113,646 reported cases, assault is the most significant violent crime in the state. There were 174,026 violent crimes reported in the state, with a violent crime rate of 4.40 per 1,000 residents. Moreover, the chances of becoming a victim of a property crime in the state 
are 1 in 47. Theft and motor vehicle theft dominate in property crimes, with a crime rate of 13.36 and 4.26 per 1,000 residents, respectively. The crime per square mile of the state is 77, which is 186% higher than the national average of 26.9. The state reported 1,016,080 crime cases and has a crime rate of 25.70 per 1,000 inhabitants. Expensive healthcare. Leapfrog, the consumer watchdog report, considers a range of factors such as beds availability, staff shortage, medical mistakes, such as unintentionally leaving tools in patients' bodies and much more. The state has only 28.2% of hospitals that earned an A grade and has been ranked at 25th place in statewide hospital safety by Leapfrog Fall 2022. Although California's healthcare system is quite better compared to many other states, it is still affecting many Californians, as per the stats provided by the California Health Policy Survey on January 27, 2022. More than 49% of Californians confirmed that they postponed or skipped health care due to cost in the last six months. Among them, 47% confirmed that their condition got worse because of that. Not only this, 59% of Californians believe that state health care is biased toward different race and ethnic backgrounds and treats people differently based on their color. Because of the high cost, the California healthcare system has been ranked 39th place by Wallet Hub in terms of cost, and with a total score of 52.34, it has been ranked at 29th place in the list of states with the best healthcare systems. Too much crowded. As per the 2020 census, the state has an estimated population of more than 39.5 million, making it the most populous state in the U.S. Not only this, with a population density of 254 inhabitants per square mile, it is the 11th most densely populated state in the U.S. It is also the third most foreign-visited state in the country, so by adding the number of tourists each year, you can have a fair idea about how the pedestrian zones will look like. There is a great possibility that you will bump into someone either day or night. Traffic According to the Hedges Company, more than 31.25 million registered cars are in California, making it more than 78,000 miles if you park them end-to-end. -end. It is also the state with the highest number of registered vehicles in the U.S. Surprisingly, only 2% of these cars are publicly owned, and 98% of the vehicles are used for commercial or private purposes. Due to such heavy traffic, traffic jams are imminent. The state has the fourth highest commute time of 29.3 minutes for one-way travel. That's why Jerry ranked the state in the middle of its list of five states with the longest average commute. Public transportation. The state has a dynamic and complex transportation system. The effectiveness of the public transportation systems varies from area to area. For instance, the San Francisco Bay Area's transportation system is considered the most effective system, while the Los Angeles system is not that effective. In some parts of the state, the public transportation system is underfunded and too crowded. In some regions, it is not even accessible to low-income people. Difficult for raising a family. Due to all factors that have been mentioned above, we can establish that raising a family in California is not a piece of cake. However, it is not impossible as well, but requires strong finances so that you can cope with high rents, expensive health care, excessive cost of living, and other necessities of life. Due to heavy traffic and crowded public transport, picking up and dropping kids at school is also quite hectic. That is for today's video. I hope you liked it and found it quite informative. For more informative videos, subscribe to our channel.